Well, good hump day afternoon, friends. Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. Hope everybody's having a great hump day. Hope you're getting over the hump, hump to dance, and everything. You know when it's Wednesday, that means it's the Dance Leo Show. Uh, that I'll be joining them, of course, uh, in about an hour and things. Uh, I had to do some work this morning, so I didn't do my morning video from here and things. This is the first time I've actually sat down here today. And we have clarification on a couple of things. Um, this is um, one of those kind of Captain, uh, Captain Obvious type of things because this is one of those ones that's like, yeah, tell me something I don't know. Um, but it was an article that came out by the same person who said that um, Mike McCarthy's fed up with Jerry Jones. And this is where I kind of say, wait a minute, hold up, hold up, hold up. Maybe this same person who did that article, who did this one, <clears throat> maybe, you know, he might be doing this, of course, you know, this, this article because um, he got so much traction on the first one. But the thing is, on this one is, if the first one is, uh, th what the article is about is Jerry Jones wants to go all in, but Stephen Jones isn't letting him. And so if you're looking at this and saying that the problem with Mike McCarthy is, you know, he's not getting the contract, he's letting go players, maybe that's not actually Jerry, maybe that's Stephen Jones. So maybe that first thing should have been that Stephen Jones. And, and here's the thing that I, I had heard from uh, somebody who was close, very close to the Joneses and still is, that Jerry had an illness. This was back around 2018 or so. And um, I'm not going to go into all the details of it, but there was basically a succession plan kind of made. And it ended up being that Stephen Jones ended up getting more and more power to actually run the Cowboys. And I think it's almost safe to say that Stephen Jones is the one running the Cowboys. The thing about Stephen Jones is he doesn't lie to you too often. He's going to tell you exactly what he thinks. When he says, we believe in our own players, he means that. He's not the one to go out and get free agents. And in fact, here's a quote of his. I've always been of the ilk that you... In the first couple of days of free agency, you pay good players like they're great. You pay average players like they're good, and so on and so forth. He has a complete adversity to free agency. And there's allegedly, I, I wasn't there, so I don't know for sure, but supposedly, Stephen Jones, when Jerry wanted to sign and sign Deion Sanders, Stephen Jones put his daddy against the wall. Now, I'll be honest with you right now. My dad is 86 years old, I believe. There is no way in hell, out of respect and daddy strength, that I would ever do that to my dad, even at 86 years old. Be that as it may, those are the things that we've heard. So this article by... Um, going long, it's from going long, going long, sounds kind of like a porn name, but that's just kind of the way it sounds. Bad design. <laughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> Let, let's go through this article a little bit here. <clears throat> Stephen Jones worried about money this spring. As previously discussed, on um, Stephen Jones explained why the Cowboys went cheap in free agency this year. It's not just this year, it's every year. Um, after Jerry said that the team was going to go all in. You'll remember he said, okay, this is not part of the article, but you'll remember him saying, well, I don't know that it was ever a time that, we, that Jerry hasn't been all in. We've also heard him say things like, when Jerry's not here, we see us taking less risk. And I'm kind of like, you're not taking any risk right now. You know, we're, we're UF, U, UFL Central right now. Um, Stephen said the team doesn't have the money to sign running backs that could help like Derrick Henry, even though Henry wanted to sign with the Cowboys, because the team had to worry about extending the contracts of Dak Prescott, CeeDee Lamb, and Micah Parsons, which they have not done yet, which are now more expensive because 
for whatever reason they're not signed. Be it it may be the players are waiting and so on and all that, or you know they they got vacations to take out of the way, or and so on, so, something like that. None of those three players have agreed to a new deal. If they had, the Cowboys could have freed up cap space to help the team sign elite players in free agency. Steven said in March he's especially afraid of signing players during the first wave, and that's that quote that I just picked from. Person, um, because the market's inflated. Personnel in the Cowboys' front office are confused by Steven's reasoning on free agency while the Cowboys might overpay on talent. A key addition could be what it takes to win a Super Bowl. After all, in recent years, the Rams, the 49ers, Kansas City Chiefs have made – you got to put – why didn't he put Tampa Bay in there? I mean, they went out and got Tom Brady and Gronk. That, that's not big free agent moves? Okay. Here's the kicker in here, and this is where you get pissed off. A longtime personnel member for the Cowboys told Dunn – now, Dunn, again, is the same guy that did the other one about Stephen Jones. I don't know if he's just a shit starter, but this is what we all have expressed, you know, expressed expressed and felt all along. Steven has been the cautious has been cautious of the Cowboys spending a free agency ever since Jerry signed Deion Sanders in ninety five. In recent years, Stephen often prevents Jerry from making a splash in free agency. Instead of paying in free agents, the Cowboys rely on building their team through the draft. The team tries to reward homegrown talent. However, as we've seen this offseason, the front office waits too long to extend the contract of at least home of elite elite homegrown players, they played the same waiting game with Mike McCarthy this offseason, which is why the hitch coach will, has become fed up with the situation in Dallas. So the article goes on that he wants to build through the draft. Um, yeah, that's his philosophy, and apparently he's the one that's running the organization. And apparently Jerry doesn't have the same power that he used to wield. And this is where you almost wonder, this is where I read an article, one of those articles that came through that uh, a woman had posted on, you know, some social media site, and there was an uproar that it created. Because what happened was her father ended up he, he, he didn't spend well, apparently. But he ended up putting his house and his money and his assets in his daughter's name. He's very old. He put it in there so that way, if he had to go into a nursing home or something like that, that all of that money just wipes away. When you go into a nursing home and all that kind of stuff, all your assets. I mean, if you got a purse, when you go in there, they're taking everything that's in the purse and stuff. And so he didn't want that to happen where his daughter would lose all his assets. So apparently, he wanted to get some things, buy some things. I don't know if they were frivolous, if they're wasting money or whatever. And she said no. And he's like, "What do you mean no? It's my money." And she's saying, "No, that's my inheritance. You're not going to waste my inheritance." Wait, wait a minute. It's not your inheritance until he's gone. And you almost feel like this is Stephen Jones, who's you know, we 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 not wasting that money. No, no, no. This, this is this is my money. This is my money. But wait a minute. I'm the one who built this shit. I'm the one who was the oil man who ended up risking it all to to get the cowboys here. I was the one where you were still wet behind the ears that we were making moves, getting in Charles Haley's and Dion's and everything else, and winning the Super Bowls. The move I made, which helped us win another Super Bowl, you poo pooed, and now. You're making all these decisions. I'm still here, son. And so you have to wonder, you know, what's really going on here? If you're telling me that Jerry Jones wants to do something and his son is telling him no, how the hell is that happening? And the thing with Stephen Jones is I, 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 I just don't know. I don't know. I just don't know. Because... I get your opinion that, you know, we're going to be you know, frugal. We're not going to waste money. We're not going to waste money on free agents. And this is what the old saying is, is penny wise and pound foolish. He's worried about, you know, I might sign a free agent and it might end up being that I lose money. Yet, you sit here and penny pinch about those guys and then you mess around on contracts and sign guys that are injured 
and lose more money. How much money did we lose on Jalen Smith? How much money did we lose on Michael Gallup? How much money did we lose on franchise tagging Tony Pollard? How much money did we lose on franchise tagging Dalton Schultz? How much money did we lose on Zeke Elliott? You're sitting here worried about overpaying a free agent and you're overpaying your homegrown talent that's past their prime. Yeah, Jerry, you should be pissed off and say, you know what? Maybe I need to change this succession plan. Maybe I need to go ahead and say, for the good of the team, son, you will become owner with certain caveats. You know, because kind of like this red brick house, I'm not going to be here forever. But here's what I did. So that way it's not torn down and they build an apartment building, I put in the covenants. Can't be torn down. Can only come down by an act of God. That's me, past the grave, letting you know what you can do to a certain extent. And maybe what it needs to be is you're the owner. You reap all the minutes of being the owner. You get invited to the commissioner's party and everything, but you will forever have a real GM to run the organization. You will have somebody who understands caponomics and contracts that will work for the organization. That's what Jerry Jones needs to do. All right, good people. We're getting sitting here running on and on and on and on like the break of dawn. And I need to get ready for Dan because <laughs> I got something for his ass tonight. And I will catch you guys later. Peace out.